What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing one of the very first tutorials I have ever done on this channel. However, it is one I have learned to get very comfortable with and I want to bring you guys along with it because there's a lot of people out there who I know in my personal social circle and people online that I have come into my streams that don't actually understand how to create TikTok videos through Adobe. Now, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. People can use whatever editing software they want, but this is how I edit mine. Right guys, so one of the main questions I get asked on a daily basis is, what do I use to create my TikToks? Well, the answer is this, Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I'm on version 22.0, I believe it is. It is the latest version uh, ready for 2022. I don't create all these stunning graphical little, uh, like these little uh, masterpieces of TikToks, please someone teach me but what i can do is i can create a very basic but straightforward tiktok video which gets the job done now if you want to learn how to do that or you don't have a clue i'm gonna help teach you at least the basics here in this video so stay tuned so basically first of all you want to create a new project so we're gonna go in there obviously name it something that you don't have already saved so we're just gonna go tutorial video tiktok basic because i know there's not a video or file saved like that on my computer otherwise you're going to get an error message come up so let's save that don't have to do any of that at the moment and then we are going to go in now it's only just uploaded so it takes a couple of seconds now straight away you're going to want to get some media so down here where it is double click and it's going to come up with your box now i have a load of rubbish and crap because i've been doing a lot of thumbnails and images and crap really on my twitter but <laughs> We, uh, I know I've got some things saved on my desktop, so here we go. We are going to go in with one of these. So let's bring out, bring out this one. Why not? Right, guys. So once you've got your media there in this little box, once you've chose the video you're going to be editing, you're going to drag it across here to the sequence timeline. And you're going to be like, hang on a minute, Jack. This might not fit in a mobile screen or a TikTok screen. So you fix that, go up to the top to sequence. Sequence settings, you're going to change this. This is the opposite way around. So you're going to have, instead of 1920 here, you're going to have 1920 there and 1080 into here. So you're going to go 1080 frame size and horizontal is going to be 1920. You're going to get a warden, delete all previews for this sequence, enter or OK, and it's going to put on there. And you'll be like, Jack, it's still the same. It's not fitting in the screen. Change the scale. I see some people do this with a blurred background of the game there. I personally don't go for that. I personally like to do what I'm about to show you. We're going to leave that there for an example. However, we're going to come back down here to the timeline in this box down here where your footage and audio is. Remember, top line with the yellow box is footage. And this box here, which is slightly darker, is your audio. Now we're going to do Alt and drag it up. And now you've got two video layers. So if I was to go on here, you can see I've got two duplicate layers. Top row is the top layer, bottom row is the bottom layer. Pretty straightforward. Now we're going to edit this one to only be my face cam as such. And you really just want to do your own here. You really do. So my screen's basically a kill feed. What I got the other night in a stream. We're going to move it across here. And it doesn't matter if it's not filling. You can even put it like that because in a moment we're going to even fix that as well. We're going to put it like that here. And now you're going to be like, Jack, it doesn't look right. It doesn't look even. You've got blurred footage. You've got a giant camera over the top of everything and you can't see the bottom layer. That's where you come down to the opacity. Now you can either use the circle or the ellipse mask or you can use the four point polygon mask or the rectangle mask. You'll see what each of them do in a minute. I'm gonna use the ellipse tool. I'm gonna to make a little tiny eye, not tiny, but whatever size, you can do whatever shape you want really. As you can see, it only allows you, see it, it does it like by pixels. So it's a bit blurred there. And we're actually gonna just put it there. And then you can come down to your mask feather. And the feather, as you can see, is how blurred or how smooth 
you want the outline of that ellipse or square to be. Now, I like to have mine either right down on zero, or I like to put it up onto about 10. So we're going to get 10 there. Mask opacity is obviously how much you can see it. We're going to have that on 100% because the last thing you don't want is a blurry face cam in your videos. Now, returning onto the bottom layer. You're like, Jack, it looks good still, but I want it to be a full screen effect. I want the viewers to be able to scroll and see, oh, this has actually been made really well, or at least some effort has been put into it. Don't worry, we can do this with a very simple one. This is probably the easiest video to show you, okay? Scale, that's where it is all at. Simply fill your screen. There you go, boom. There is more to this video, so we will get into one further step. However, this is your TikTok video, okay? This is what you would see on a TikTok. You've got the, you know, like the bio or description with the hashtags down here, your name above it. You've got the follow thing and your likes and shares and blah, blah, blah. But there is something else I'd like to put into this. However, skip ahead and I'll show you how to export this and upload it onto TikTok. But if you are watching this, guys, and you want to learn how to make it, we are going to put the kill feed on the screen as well, which includes a third layer. Now, do not duplicate the, the, the top layer, your face cam layer, okay? Because you're going to put two of your face cams on. I make that mistake when I'm editing so much because I rush. I have a very bad habit of rushing. So here we go. We're going to... Oh. And we're going to drag that up to the top. Now we're going to find that kill cam by apparently I say that by apparently masking the top so we go on top quickly I'm just going to put that back in place I'm going to put it about there now, anyone who plays Call of Duty will understand this, what I'm doing with the kill feed. So you might have got something a little bit interesting, a little bit entertaining on the kill feed, which is this little area of text here. If you're not a Call of Duty player, it will make sense in a moment. Now, we want this kill feed to be on the screen. But you've got to also figure where on the screen you'd like it. Now, we're going to leave it like that. And we're going to get the opacity tool. You got a square up here. And you're going to play the video to learn the area you want to get. There is a moment on this where I need it more. See, you got my name there while I was streaming. So now we know the maximum area that we need for this. I like to try and make mine a little bit more equal, a little bit more neat. It doesn't matter if it's not too neat, of course. It's going to be, we're going to put a little bit of a feather effect on this. It doesn't make the whole difference. We're going to, let's say, there we go. That's perfect. There we go. Now obviously that is your layer. Now what we need to do is we need to go to effects tools and we need to move this somewhere a little bit more relative. Now I'm going to change the scale of this down just a tiny bit because it will get in the way. We're going to put it there. It's part of it's going to be behind the follow badge, but you can kind of get the whole gist of this. Now, if we watch this back, you can still see through the kill cam. Boom. There you go. And that is the whole part. So you now got the kill feed, you've got the webcam, and you've got the gameplay. Boom. And as you can see by my face, it was a hilarious moment to hit on the stream uh, while playing the brand new Call of Duty Vanguard game. First of all, render it. 
So render effects in, oh, render in to out. Effects would be just your effects if your footage was fine. You don't always have to do this, but it is very, very recommended. Render in to out, depending on how long or short your video is. And then this green bar here will tell you that the hole or wherever the green bar is will tell you that part of the video is rendered. You can now go on file. We can now export media. Now this is where you have to really kind of, yeah. So what we want is for a TikTok video made through this, you want one which is H.264. It'll load that and it gets rid of the black bars. Match source, high bitrate. We're going to say um, TikTok COD Glide Hill. There we go. Output name is going to go over here. And you really want to just find where it's going to go. Obviously, mine are all set to the same folder. You want to make sure it goes to the same folder. So you really just need to work out the best place for you. Now, I like to scroll down here a little bit because render at max, maximum depth, it will render that video and save that video and export it to that file as high quality as it can. You can go down here and change all these, but I don't recommend you messing with any of these until you get down here, use maximum render quality, boom, and then you can export. Boom, all done. You can for, uh, find it there. You can go on here, it's exported successfully. I'm going to bring it up on screen now for you. Right, and here you go. So there you go, that is the TikTok. So we're gonna have that here. So these are my edited TikToks, they all go to the same folder. So these are all made through Adobe Premiere. And we want to open TikTok up. Now, obviously, if you're making it through Premiere, you're most likely going to be doing this. <laughs> Thanks, TikTok. Right, we're going to log in. Right, so once you've got TikTok open and you're on your profile, you want to go to the upload video page. I'll bring it over here. Let's just bring that up here for you guys. You're going to find your video, so click on here or select file. You're going to find where your video is saved and ours is in TikTok's edited and it's this one here. So we're going to click on that one and it will show you what it looks like on a phone. It's going to look on the phone so you can double check before you publish it. There you go. You can see it's full screen. You can see it's good quality. The kill feed's actually above all of the buttons on the side. Yeah, and you've got a lovely little area here for your description and it all fits. You've got a little tiny gap above the kill, uh, the face cam, so it's not obstruct, obstructing any borders. Now we're gonna put um, crazy glide bomb, uh, crazy glide feed, because TikTok is funny with videos with certain words in on, and use hashtags. So you'll get all these hashtags, boom, call of duty, Put the name of the Call of Duty, uh, and by all means, use the FYP, use the gamer tool, use the streamer, use what hashtags you feel are suitable for your video. Find a cover, this is like a little tiny effect. There we go, let's use that one. Public allow or whether you want it private or just with friends or you can obviously comment do a stitch you can leave them all on i leave them all on it's all ready post your tiktok is being uploaded or your video is being uploaded okay you can either choose to upload another one straight away or you can view profile let's go back to profile it's right there go over to tiktok and uh Change it, here are some examples of some other ones I've made through Premiere Pro. So you've got a few little things here, this is just playing Phasmophobia, or you've got some other ones. And that is how you edit and upload TikTok videos using Adobe Premiere Pro. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. 
hit a comment on what you'd like to see me do or play even next on the channel. And of course, smash that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.